Looks like last call there. Definitely <laughs> last call. Don't set the bar. One more. One more. All right. It is now 11:15 here in Cleveland. Not 8:15 out in the West yeah, Coast. I know. So we're partying down in Lexington, partying in LA. Matt Wentz has been partying all evening here. Yeah, all evening. Yeah, at the WKYC right. studios. He's tracking temperatures over there. Yes, That's you a party are. for meteorologists, I'll tell you. Guys, beautiful weather once again. We've got changes tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a day we're going to want to pay attention to because temperatures are going to go down and okay. it's going to be a little chilly around here by this time tomorrow night. So we'll get you started tomorrow morning. More of the same that hazy, smoke filled sky is going to be ongoing. As we're still stuck in this pattern, a mild start. We're in the 60s, becoming breezy and turning cooler tomorrow evening, though. We're back into the 50s for your evening walk or whatever you happen to be doing tomorrow evening. Uh, you're going to notice the change in temperatures. Meanwhile, we're mild. Mid-60s right now. Low temperatures tonight only going to fall into the upper 50s. So it's a warm night. Uh, maybe a little too warm to keep the window open. Depends on how you sleep. But notice the mild air all the way back towards uh, areas of the central plain states. Bless you, Dylan. Bless you. I heard that sneeze. Uh, look at the atmospheric smoke that we've had throughout the day. This is what the sky has looked like over the last few days. Not blue, right? This is all lofted in the atmosphere. It's off those wildfires way off towards the west in areas of western Canada. This is what the sky can look like this time of year. We haven't seen it, but that blue sky will be returning. So as of the latest count, 96 wildfires over 100 acres still burning in areas of western Canada. They have a system over them now bringing some much needed rain, but the jet has taken that smoke. These are the clouds, but there's smoke along with that across all of the Great Lakes region. But this is going to be our saving grace. There's a cold front diving south out of Canada. Kind of a weird direction this time of year, but it's got some real fresh air behind it. So here's your smoke forecast. This is where all the smoke is right now. Notice we have had it in our sky today. It'll likely thicken up a little, so you'll notice the whiter sky tomorrow around midday. And then by late evening, maybe for that sunset, we'll clear things out. And by Thursday, we're back to those clear blue skies. Probably something you haven't noticed, perhaps, if you haven't been listening. We've been talking a lot about it, but tomorrow you'll notice it go from that white, milky white back to the blue again. And it also comes with cooler temperatures. Thursday, 61 for a high. How about that? And then we rebound nicely for your Memorial Day weekend back into the 70s. So let's go detailed now. Your National Design Mart Hour by our forecast. Dry tonight, dry tomorrow as well. Here's your temperatures at 9 o'clock in the morning near 70. It's going to be a warm start to your day, but then here comes the cold front. This will go by in the late morning hours in Cleveland. It'll hit Akron around lunchtime and then it'll be out of here. Just some clouds with that. That's about it. But look at temperatures. We were near 70 at 930 in Cleveland. We're down to 61 Lakeside with a gusty north wind developing by noon. That north wind will play out throughout the day. Could we squeeze out a shower in our southern counties? Perhaps it would be very brief, if anything. And then we're all locked into this north wind and cooler conditions tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. By tomorrow night, look at these temperatures waking up Thursday morning. We're talking 40s, maybe some 30s in traditional colder spots. There'll still be some wind around, so I'm not concerned about frost, but it will be on the chilly side. And then we warm up barely on Thursday back into the 60s. We'll likely hold upper 50s near the lakeshore. What a change, right? Guardians tomorrow against the White Sox. Uh, 110, I believe, is the first pitch. 60s, it will be becoming breezy. That breeze is going to be blowing in. So. They've had offensive problems. We get that. We'll let Jimmy cover that in sports, but that wind isn't going to help the home run ball tomorrow. Uh, your precip summary over the course of the year so far, we've been tracking this. We have a surplus in Cleveland, almost two inches, a surplus in Akron, barely a surplus in Mansfield. So there's still a decent amount of water in our ground compared to average, but it's been very dry since March 1st, and you know that you've been doing a lot of watering. We're not expecting any rain as we go throughout Saturday and just a slight chance as we get into the Sunday and your Memorial Day. And boy, do we need it because we are going to go dry around here all the way through the weekend. It's this high pressure as we look forward to your Memorial Day weekend that's going to settle south. There is a disturbance off the southeastern coast that's just been sitting there for the last five days. That high pressure will eventually steer some of that moisture our way as we get into the Saturday and Sunday. So we're going to have more clouds around this weekend. Not expecting a lot of rain out of this, but does this moisture make it here or not? That's going to be the big question and the thing I'll be watching in the modeling over the next couple days. As of right now, we've just got a spotty shower in here for Memorial Day weekend. Otherwise, we're dry. And if we don't get rain this weekend, it looks like we set up another dry pattern all the way through the end of next week. So that could be two straight weeks without rain. You see it's all around us, but not over Ohio unless we get a little bit this weekend. It doesn't look like much, so you're going to have to continue to water and we could be talking drought around here by the time we get into this time next week. Union Home Mortgage 10 day forecast. Look at the warm up. We go to the low to mid 80s next week to kick off the month of June. Russ. All right, Matt. Thanks so much.